Morning, YouTubers. Unavoidable. Right, so this week, my, what I've done is I've removed the ladders, I've re removed all the roof rack from the roof with the intention of getting up on the roof over the next four days because the weather forecast is supposed to be dry and with a bit of sun. So, hey, oh, get up there, get it sanded down, and all being well next week when you see the video, all being well, it should be wrapped. So, that's what I did at the beginning of the week. We'll, sh we'll show how you do that because. Um... I'd like to get a little bit of that on film, the raptoring, because not, it's not on... Has it been done much? Well, I, uh, there are a couple of videos on, but uh, if you want to pop down, if you want to pop down again, Graham, and give me an hand, you know, feel free to come, you know. I was here at eight this morning. Yeah, you was. Granted, he was here at eight o'clock this morning, so credit to him, but that's the first that even when I did his fan for him, he didn't turn up while half ten, half eleven, so credit to him. I did ask him to come this morning and help me start with the electrics, but because I've been doing other works inside, we've we've put that on hold. So anyway, so we'll go inside. Oh, I'm liking the seats. Don't worry about them. They're, they're coming back out and getting recovered. Don't, this isn't finished. This is a work in progress. So what I've been working on this week is I've been working on this. Now this, according to a chap called, well, Kuros Bavario, this is called a Shoilet. It's an Irish version of a, a hybrid toilet stroke shower. So that's a Shoilet. So if anybody's confused, it's an Irish Shoilet. Is it? Shoilet, okay. <laughs> Can you say that? Shoilet. Shoilet. Say it in It's a shoilet, so it is. So it is. It's a shoilet. So I started on the shower, stroke, toilet area, got the cubicle made, got the basin in ready. I've got I've got a sink ready to go in, but there's loads, loads of work to do still. I'm not 100% happy with it right now. So that's one, I started that on, I think, I think that was Monday, started that on Monday. And then we started on, on the electric cupboard, the stroke. Cupboard, stroke, pull out, cupboard. I'm going to close this so you won't see me for a while, but I'm sure that'll please some God people. For that. Well, I figured you, I think you figured you'd be happy about it. So I, this, the plan of this is this going to is going to come out, and it's basically good. I said it, didn't I? I said Just, it. Yeah, only the first time though. Is that, was that the first time? That's the first. So. This will come out, you can edit that part. I won't imagine, I won't remind you about obviously. Okay. Right. Okay. So I'll start that again. Yeah. So you can, I bet you don't edit it, but anyway. <laughs> so this comes out with the intention of basically segregating the kitchen, yeah. living room area to the bathroom, stroke back bedroom. So it's a bit like an ensuite, really. Yeah? Yeah. So if you want a bit of privacy when you get out the shower and you close the door, yeah, get dressed, whatever you're gonna do. And then, and also the cupboard will store towels. And so on it, this side as well. And on this side, there's obviously- So you've got, you got like storage on this side, haven't you? Yeah, the storage on this side. So I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what the quality control gaffer's got in mind for this, but I'm assuming there's gonna be some, she's got some wonderful design, but I don't know yet. Yeah, whatever. But I've gotta be honest with you, this has been an absolute nightmare. I'm not 100% happy with it yet because I've put, I've put four pull-out hinges on it but I'm not happy with it. I'm, I'm going to put another two on it just to, because I, I originally did it yesterday. It took me 10 hours yesterday constructing all of this and I constructed it out of, out of 18 mil ply. The fact that it was heavy, I then decided today to convert it into 
12 mil ply so it's now 12 mil ply with a little bit of 18 mil ply on it so it's a bit lighter than what it was yesterday but i'm still not happy with the fact that it doesn't it doesn't glide and it doesn't open as easy and it tends to sag a little bit on these hinges so i'm gonna we're gonna get another two hinges and see if that keeps it in a straight position because as you can appreciate all those people that are out there doing these bands it's so difficult it's so difficult to try and get a level and a straight edge because basically oh god i've said it again because you've only got one really straight edge and especially when you're on a drive and the, the drive's a bit like that you know it's it's really difficult so you're working you're working with a tape measure you're working with a set square trying to keep things square and equal as in you know it but it is i've got to be honest with you this has been an absolute pig of a job if i'm not happy with it when it's got another two inches on it i'm thinking i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna wipe the idea off and i'm just gonna put a door in i'll put a door and turn it into a cupboard we have um some plans and details on this don't we and we'll show that in a future video if it all works all right and works you can get right. it if it works all right then i'll 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 put some i'll put some plans together yeah i'll show you how it's been done but like i say it, it i'm 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 90 percent happy with it i'm not 100 percent happy with it yet so so it's it's a work in progress this so that's been done this has been started like i said my plans are this week to to get the roof all being well wrapped get my roof rack wrapped and put back on and we've started um, with the help of graham this morning because he arrived at what time did you arrive this morning eight o'clock no it wasn't well quarter past was it no it wasn't it was about nine half past now on it well anyway it was that you told me you got up at eight o'clock no i got up at seven no you told me that you told me you got up at eight Anyway, so Graham got here relatively early this morning. I was going to sleep outside your house last night, <laughs> but I thought, oh, I'll just stay in me. Yeah, so anyway. Private compound. So he got here, we've got, we've got the first fix of the uh, 12 volt electrics in. Uh, ready for the lights outside, ready for the lights inside. All the, all the electrics for the 12 volts, for the, for the diesel heater, for the Truma. Oh, by the way, I've got the Truma water heater in. We'll go into that as well in we'll a We'll go into that as well at a later date. So that's, that's first fix in. So that's ready for its plumbing and its gas installation. So that's ready. It's already been, oh, you can go outside when you get a chance. I've got all the, 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 yeah, the outside bits done. So that's that done. Electrics, again, this side done. I've prefabricated this ready for radio, light switches, etc, etc. There's still tons of work to do. Um, still tons of work to do. So it's a case of we just crack on and hope the weather stays all right this week. And if I, to be honest with you, if I can get the roof done this week, I'm going to be happy because then it can rain forever and a day. Well, it ain't going to be much to hold you up after that, is no, it? No, not really. Not because no. you can get on with the inside and well, get your roof wrapped I mean, on. We've got, we've got the sinks. We've got the materials, i.e., you know, w w w the materials that I need to carry on constructing things. So if it does rain after after Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, then I can get back inside and crack on and get a bit more done inside. Kerry's got loads of ideas for these. These are these are a work in progress. Yeah. I know, I know it looks like it's not right there, but because it isn't finished yet, so that's that's just one I've got started on. But there is going to be another one here at this side. There's going to be another seat here. So this will segregate the cab, the cab from obviously the living accommodation. Um, yeah, that's it. I think that's it. I think that's about it. I'm going to show this shower in a bit more detail because this is quite any, good. I don't think I've got any more. So they've gone into the shower kill, but Kerry said yesterday you're going to put some on the um, uh, door on here, right? Yeah, you're there's going to be the sliding door. Sliding doors are going to come in here. This is all going to get lined out. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, a, a ceramic sink to go in, a basin to go in here. Obviously, all the shower will be shower will be in here. All this is going to get lined out. Floor, it's going to get tiled up to a certain height. I think Kerry's got plans of tiling. I don't, I don't know what plans until she tells me. Yeah. Because she's quality, as you all know, she's quality control. She's a gaffer. She tells me what to do, and and I say right, okay. I don't argue. I just get on with it. 
Because you know what she's like, don't you? Yeah. She's, you know. Hard work. Well, she can, she can be, but she's got good ideas. So, yeah. So that's the uh, shelter. Shelter, which, tree, which is all built on a stage thing. I, I have, I will go into more detail. As you can see, nothing's fixed. It's just sort of like. Um, Fix. Yeah, it's just spare fix. So we, we, I have filmed certain bits which I will put in in more detail. I said I will get more detail, and I will as it goes on. We'll let you know exactly, sort of how this. But really, I mean, it's only a, it's only what is it, forty mil by twenty mil wood. It's just a frame, isn't it? Well, just... that's just all that is is a 25, 25 brief, um fifty framework that yeah. is sat on. You can see I've had it there to sit, anyway. I've had to sit it on that because obviously the wheel arch is underneath there. Yeah. So basically, oh, I said it again, didn't I? That's how many times is that? I don't know. That's three times, isn't it? That's a bleep it. That's three or four times. Underneath here, you've got up to this point here is the wheel arch. So I've had to raise it on this framework. Yeah. This has all got insulation underneath to support it all. There's going to be obviously a, a hole cut there and the drainage will go outside, which is where I wanted it to go because I've got a nice space under there to, to drop a hole through there. So that's pretty simple, really. Um, yeah, so the roof's going to get re-lined, sides are going to get re-insulated re and lined, there's going to be a light in here, basin, shower, and a, and a, and a, a roller shutter door is going yeah. in here. So that'll be cool when it's done. Tamba door, isn't it? Tamba, that's it. Tamba that's, door. That's the name of them. And, this, and here? This part here. As you can see here, if I move all this out the way, all that crap, move all that out the way, and then all at the back of here, this cupboard is where all the electrics are going. Great with Graham's expertise. Can you get that out there? You're a yeah, bit flat, you are. I'm not bad at all. Excuse me. So we've got the lights in for the lights. As you can see there, we've got. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but everything's marked out where we're going to put it. That's a list of stuff we've still got to get for the electrics. The batteries will go in here. Yeah. There'll be two rather large batteries going in there, won't there? Yeah. And that's where everything will go to the back to. Uh, we'll screw back to. We've got everything what goes in there. Converter, B2B, B2B. MPPT, two fuse boards, one for 12 volt, one for 24 volt, because these buses are 24 volt. There's a converter which will go there, and there is the inverter, and the batteries will come up to that line there. But we'll go. I'll, I will show every little bit of this as we go along, and um, I'll put it up on YouTube because I know a lot of people do like to see the electrical side of it. So I will film this as we go along. I, I, I am confident that you'll do it right this time because you did you always set up on fire twice. No, you, you told me last week. I had to. Fired. I've had to alter things and that's why I could never put my video out because I never got, actually got it finished. I was in that much of a hurry to get to Spain. It never actually got completely done. But I've now done it and it, I've got just about everything in, man, that I want in it. So, what's going up here then? This what, is so, what's this? This is this just spare cupboard space. This is going to be cupboard space. Um, you know, hang, hang your clothes up in there and whatever else, and put your knickknacks in there or whatever. It's just cupboard space, Graham. And cupboard from space. in here, then you've got storage for the bathroom as well, haven't yeah, you? Because down there it'll be a cupboard for the bathroom. Yeah. And at the top on the other side will be a cupboard for the living room. It's a really good idea. It's, it's sort of a deep cupboard because you've got to avoid deep cupboards with vans because you never. All you end up with is a lot of rubbish at the bottom that you never end up touching. Well, I just, it just, it just, I like the idea that it segregates the living area from the bathroom, yeah. the shower, you know, the shower room, the toilet. It just segregates them and it, it just gives you a bit more privacy, you know. Uh, and not only that, with the boys, when they're sleeping of a night time, when they go to bed at, let's say, half past three in the afternoon, because, you know, they've been making too much noise, then we can just shut the door you know and the bed's there this will be this is actually a big bed i was sent to carry today that's that is actually quite big yeah that pretty much it's not far off being a double it's not far off being a double yeah. but that's if you remember man if i put that fill in yeah it was this would be the same size yeah, that's right 
So that just shows how, how big my van is, really. Yeah. Yeah, you know, how big my bed is. It, there is plenty of room in it. And I've got the infill at the back. It's just that mine stops there unless I, I, I put the infill in. But I, I'm not going to... I don't ever put that in because I just... Well, I can't be bothered, to be honest. I'll put it in if I need to. Not I mean, lads. Anyway. So, yeah. So that's as much as I've got done this week. Um... Shows all done, yeah, but all this takes time, doesn't it? You just, know, it's know, just forever, yeah, yeah, you know, you're forever gonna... messing about with it. And well, you get started, and by the time you get started, it's 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 four o'clock, you know, and you've got to down tools again because it's getting dark. You know, I could put a light in here, but I'm usually in here by about half past eight in the morning till about half past four on a night time. Yeah, so. I, was, I was with you this morning yeah. at half past eight. No, you wasn't. No, you what were you it get... was half past no, eight. No, what? No, it wasn't. It was about half past nine, and even that was a surprise to me, so credit to you. I mean, over here then, kitchen units are going to go in. Kitchen. Another seat at the front. Obviously, there's going to be a dividing wall here again. There's going to be another double seat there. Kitchen. Well, I say kitchen. Cooker. Fridge. That's going to be a log burner of some description here. And then here is going to be a sink belfast sink which it carries yeah and then all of this lot is going to get tiled we're going to have cupboards up here cupboards cupboards down lighters so yeah it's gonna it's gonna look great i'm so looking forward to being able to say right there you go Kerry, go and put your bit get and in what, there and where's this um what's going this side then this is going to be a sofa bed okay yeah. So it's going to be obviously sit down sofa but then there's going to be pull out drawers underneath of it so that'll be storage there'll be access via the top of this so that i can get some of diesel later as I, I pointed out in the early early videos yeah uh and then but again i nearly said it then then it will pull out cushions will drop down and that'll form a double bed so i've got double bed three quarter double and then underneath, underneath here, there's going to be another, like a, um, what they call them, daybed type things for yeah. one of the other children. So two children up here, one underneath there. Shut the door. Jobs are good. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So yeah, that's where we're at. So yeah, still plenty, plenty of work to do. on, you know. You're having the seats recovered, are you? Yeah, the seats that they're all getting recovered. All driver's seat. Um, all the passenger seats are getting recovered. Um, so yeah, there's all the lighting switch, radio. Uh, Kerry informed me this morning that we're going to have a pull down. What do they call them? What you, screens? Oh uh, yeah, for uh, a projector. Projector screens going to come down. Also, I've got a reversing camera. Have you bought us something though? What? Yeah. Put in two. I know it's going to be a. I know, yeah. I know. The, the projector's going to have to go over here yeah. to get a half decent picture. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to have to Walter, so you're going to have... I know. ...be like American TV. I, I prefer to just put a TV in myself, but there, there you go. But, to be honest with you, I really don't want to be watching TV. When we get packed up somewhere beautiful, I want to get out and go out for a walk or climb a mountain or whatever we do, do you know what I mean? Rather than be stuck in watching TV. If I wanted to be stuck in... Hey, it's only if it's... I use mine. You know, I, I mean, I've got one because dismal. it's just a rainy day, isn't it? It's yeah. just, you know, if there's nothing else to do. So, reversing camera underneath there. There's going to be a switch here for all being well, uh, a motorised step to come out. So, yeah. But like I said, the deadline, my deadline I've been told is, is the end of May, beginning of June. So, I'm, I'm, I'm at it every day. Um, trying to trying to get it done. So it'll, but it'll get done when it gets done. As soon as um, as soon as these things have sort of proved themselves and they've got done, we will put the videos out about these. Um, I do have a lot of clips on it, so I will I will put this out when it. As soon as we get it right, we just I don't like putting something out and then a week later. We've changed it. Do you well, know what I mean? Or you've may, changed it. I may it. change it. If I'm not, I happy, know, that's if what I'm I mean. not happy with it, I'll change it. So we, you know? I will, as, as soon as he's happy with this, 
I'll put a video together, we'll show how it was built and everything like that. The electrical will be a full install on this van. I'll go from the very beginning and, and just film the lot. Um, and everything else, now we're coming to the... Now we've got the structural stuff done, we can sort of like start filming a bit more in detail can't we of the build and stuff like that well, and how you're doing it up early and, and well yeah. there's no point when you're welding because I, I can only film so well, much welding that. and stuff that. like that it's just um and there's nothing to do there's no, nothing I, I can get on with but when i'm here and we've got the electrics to do um then i will show but you have helped me today I've got to be honest in a lot more helped, detail you today, haven't you? i feel rough to be honest yeah but you have helped i remember did you not glue a piece of wood for me I put some glue on one of them. Did you not? I'm, I'm pretty you, sure he held a bit of wood up there you as well. He held a bit of wood for me as well. Like, well, that's credit to so you. So that's mate. two things. That's credit to you, mate. Credit. You know, what can I say? I mean, that's. Please come again. It's got to be a couple of Please hundred quid in there. Please come again. Give me a <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's it. We're done. We're done. Blows down. So yeah, please don't worry. We will go into more details on these builds. I will show you. I'll show you the plans for this. I'll show you the plans for the cupboard. I will again show you the shower when it's totally in. When it, only when he's happy with it will I show you how we how we built it. Because there's no point in showing you how we built it and then he's not happy and decides to take it out or alter it or whatever. So we will. I will complete things when they're done, but at the minute we're just still working things out and stuff like that. So we need to get that, we need to get everything sorted before we sort of say, right, I'm going to put the video together and then we'll push it out. But it's certainly getting there, it's looking really good. They have got plans for other stuff to go in here, so do stay tuned for that. It's, um, they've got some great stuff, ideas going in here. It will be a really different build this but as you can see that's where we are today so i'd just like to say thanks for staying with me really appreciate you watching take care i'll see you on the next one